clean your feet. We're back in the garage with Bodie Stroud. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to In the Garage. Um, before the break, we were talking about electrical and stuff, but uh, we have our good friend Eric from uh, Steel Rubber Products on the line with us, and we're going to talk to him about, uh, see what he's got going on. He's, uh, once again, he's our sponsor. We want to thank him again for, for you know, making this happen for us and, uh, you know, being our sponsor. Eric, you there? I'm here, man. Hey, what's going on? Oh, just another day, man. Just another day of hard work, that's all. There you go. There you go. Um, how's things going over on your end? It's, it's good. You know, this is a busy time of year for car guys. Everybody's getting their cars ready for the mm. summer show season, uh, for cruise-ins. And yeah. So th- this is the time they're getting their cars out of the garage and starting to work on them. So uh, we're staying really busy right now. Very good. Yeah, us too. It seems like it's been really picking up for us over the last probably, I don't know, five, six weeks. It seems to really be picking up. we got three new big builds that we're working on, so... We're really excited about that. Good. What, well, what kind, of, what kind of builds are you working on? <clears throat> uh, we just got a 69 Roadrunner we're going to be doing from the ground up. Um, we got a 68 Camaro that we're going to be doing for Tim Allen from the ground up. And um, we got a 46 pickup truck in that we're doing from the ground up. And, oh, and also we have a 65 uh, Mustang that we're kind of doing like a Shelby replica. Oh, sweet. And so we're going to help you with all of this, aren't we? Well, of course you are. I, Absolutely. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go to anybody else. I mean, you guys are it. You guys are the one-stop shop. I mean, if... Uh, it's a good deal. Yeah, if anybody goes anywhere else, they're they're foolish. They should be well, actually calling right now and getting your catalog if they don't have it because... Uh, well, I hope so. And, and I didn't even pay you to say that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's true. And it, you know, us guys, we always love those catalogs. When we get the catalogs, we'd, we'd rather sit in a, a recliner and stare at those catalogs and, and start number counting in our head and what we need. And I mean, that, well, that's the best thing in the world to me. And, and we've got a big one. Ours is uh, 12,000 parts <clears throat> big. So uh, I think we've got it, wow. got you covered on all those cars. Gosh. Yeah, I mean, you guys don't just do rubber products. I mean, you do all kinds of other stuff as well that I was looking at. We do. Uh, well, we do everything rubber. Okay. But we do, you know, every, we, the thing that makes us unique is we try to cover everything. Yeah. Um, you know, it's one thing to do the trunk and the door. It's a whole another avenue to, to tool up the parts like pedal pads and glove box bumpers and yeah. those kinds of things. Um, we, we try to do everything. Gotcha. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you do a wonderful job about it and with it. But um, let's talk about the Pinewood Derby. Sweet. Let's talk about <laughs> Pinewood cars, man. You know, that's a, I know, I know you, it sounds crazy, two adults talking about Pinewood cars. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I did one for my son for the Boy Scouts, and, and we won. It was cool. We went to the big the big tournament, and, you know, I, I probably shouldn't be saying this on the air, but I did add some weights. You there know, you go. I, we were going in there. We were stressing, me and my boy. We were like, oh, man, I hope they don't weigh the car, you know. We didn't go crazy, but we did a little bit. And, and then the thing that, I don't know if this is good or bad, but we did win. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Well, and, you know, that that's why I, I started this, this charity Pinewood build is not just to raise money for charity, but, you know, it's a cool way to get young kids into hot rodding and custom cars. I agree. Uh, I agree. You know. Anything to do that. I'm I'm on board 100% with getting kids off the couch and away yep. from the video games and out using their hands and doing stuff and being creative. Yeah, and, and what better way than to, to make a, a custom little car? It gets them excited. <clears throat> uh, I know, you know, my son and I, we made our Pinewood car a few years ago uh, for his Boy Scout race, and he wanted oh, it man. to look like a 65 Mustang. How cool was that? That's very you know? cool. That's very <laughs> cool. Were you at the race I was at? Right. What's that? <laughs> 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 Maybe I shouldn't have told that story. <laughs> no, no, no. Was that you in second? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't win. Oh, okay. All right. Well, We looked good, but we didn't win. There you go. So did you end up making it look similar to the Mustang? 
We did. And, you know, he pulled pictures up on the Internet and did his research. And, you know, he made his dad proud because uh, that was cool for, at that time, you know, a little kid, seven, eight years old, oh, yeah. wanting to, to do a Mustang. Um, that's pretty cool. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Um, that's what we did. And my son was the same age, and we, we had a great time. And, uh, you know, we didn't get too crazy with the body sculpting, but we did. We added some paint and, you know, and yep. gave it some shape, and it kind of looked like our own deal, you know. Yeah, now with this charity event that I'm doing, we let guys like you, and I think you may have seen the list. We've got a heck of a list of builders. Yeah, you got some good names. names. You got to uh, look like Troy Chapainers on there, and. He is, and Troy Ladd at Hollywood Troy Hot Rod. Troy Ladd, yeah. Jesse Those Greening just won the Riddler Award, and now he's going to build us a car. Nice. Uh, there you go. That, you know, that's fun. A, that's awesome. We have some. We have some great ideas for ours. Do you? Yeah, oh yeah. You're not going to give any secrets away, are you? I, unless you want me to. I mean, I. No, no, okay, no. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're doing. We we've been uh, we've started work on it. We have uh, we got the painter on board last night, which is a very 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 well known painter, which is very cool. Okay. So uh, not only is it going to have a cool paint job, but it's going to have the name behind it as well. Good, and that's you know the secrecy is part of the fun. All these these big name builders. Um, they, they, all of you guys are, are kind of doing this in secrecy, and, and mm -hmm. it's so cool because last year, um, one of the builders um, from the East Coast, Rob Ida, uh, had sent his car in, but he had sent it in in a metal box with handcuffs attached to it and a combination, and uh, <laughs> he wouldn't let me open it until I got to the race. That's cool. That is, you know, that's so, a great idea. That, that really is cool. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, and and you know the cool thing is it's it's all for charity and it's all for some good causes. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it's going to be uh, the race is going to be held in Pomona, uh, July twenty seventh. Is that's it? correct? Okay. It'll be in Pomona, July twenty seventh. Mm -hmm. um, our trade organization SEMA puts on some Pinewood drag races to raise money for Child Help and Victory Junction Camp, and uh, and so we'll race the cars there. Cool. And we'll see who's the fastest. Derek White of Street Visions has won the last two years, so he's back to like, defend his title. Well, cool. we got to um, take a break real quick, Eric. Sorry about that, but hang on to those words. We'll be right back, all right? Don't lower that jack yet. We'll be right back in the garage with Bodie Stroud. <laughs> 